Inclusive education. Where all students, with or without disabilities, have the opportunity to thrive. Where all students feel like they are part of the school community. Where the main focus is on the kids' learning needs rather than their disability. Inclusive education is about how we develop and design our schools, classrooms, programs, and activities so that all students can learn and participate together. Burton Street moved to a full inclusive school as of last year where all students are kept in the classroom for all of the day except pull out services for things like PT and OT. So it's different than it used to be in that for reading and writing and math students used to leave the classroom where now they stay in the classroom as much as they can and we just modify the work at their level inside the classroom. My initial thoughts about inclusion were that, wow, this is great. How are we going to do this? Um, I was excited and I was full of anticipation on how we're going to actually do this. It really is a, a human right for a student to be with their peers, same age peers in their, in their classroom, be able to go to school with neighborhood kids, things like that. It really is a human right to me. Um, so we had to make some changes in order to, to allow that to happen. We said, well, what do we need to do with our teachers? Uh, well, we need to train them. We need to make sure that they're as prepared as they can be when it comes to um, having students in their classrooms that weren't necessarily with them the entire school day. And now they were going to be with them the entire school day. So there were lots of, there was lots of training opportunities. It was training opportunities after school for teachers. It was visitations to different school districts. Um, it was uh, different conferences that we attended in the summer. 15.6% of school-age students living in New York State are identified as having a disability. 56.9% of these students are included in general education classrooms for most of their day. But, for the students with the most significant disabilities, this number drops dramatically. Benefits of inclusive education Develop individual strengths and gifts with high and appropriate expectations for each child Work on individual goals while participating in the life of the classroom with other students their own age Involve the students' parents in their education and in the activities of the school Develop friendships with a wide variety of other children, each with their own individual needs and abilities Socially and academically, you're looking at the um, other students in the classroom and you're picking up cues as to how they interact with each other and um, how they deal with each other and even with conflicts, how they resolve those conflicts. Oops, we missed. Oops. One of the biggest benefits socially is for all the students, both with disabilities and those with not disabilities, to have a better understanding of each other, to learn hugely from each other. And um, I think one of the biggest things is acceptance of students of all abilities by all of the students. Being able to see that just because they're different and they have to do things differently than 
someone else in the classroom, they can still be successful in many different ways. Challenges. Attitudes slash beliefs that students have to be able to keep up to be included. Training. General education teachers may need additional training to support the needs of diverse learners. Large class size. Inflexible curricular demands. Time for collaboration. Special and general education teachers need planning time and time to collaborate and meet the needs of all students. Administrative and school-wide support. Let's hold on to that for a second. Count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As a co-teacher in a, in a inclusion classroom, um, it's meeting everybody's needs, and Beautiful. I think that's the, the tough part, is making sure that all of the students' needs are getting met. Um, with both of us teachers, we have to attend to, to the entire classroom. So um, I think it's, it's making sure that everybody's needs get, get met. One of the, the biggest challenges, I think, is, is um, telling folks who have been worked here for sometimes three, four, five years that we're going to do programming differently for students, so we have to lay them off. Um, that was the, one of the biggest challenges. And the other was simply um, getting everyone on board. Luckily for us, what was great is, is I went around and talked to teachers, and there were t teachers volunteering to, to try this new challenge, and that's awesome and unique about Casanova that uh, many teachers were um, ready to rise to that challenge. Um, but we also needed to train them, like I said, and, and we did several different things to get people up to speed. Mrs. Link, the physical therapy teacher at Burton Street says, I help with supporting and assisting the child's growth in their physical areas of struggle to allow them to participate with their peers as much as possible and with as much independence as possible and maximize their learning in the classroom. I think inclusion is definitely successful. I love having as many students in the class all day as possible and I think it's so successful because um, all of the students, um, high level students and low level working together all the time, I think they learn most from their peers and um, are great role models for each other in the classroom. Over the past three years, Casanova School District has worked to include as many students as possible in the general education classrooms. And now we're kind of at this point where when I was here, uh, started three years ago, we had um, 13 students that were in BOCES programs. And now, uh, next year, I think we're going to have three. So um, we're, we're well off on our way, and we continue to try to uh, get better and improve and support people. Um, and there's a couple of different uh, changes and tweaks that we make along the way, but I think we're well on our way to uh, getting to where we wanted to be three years ago, which was to have uh, um, every student in Casanova come to um, school here in Casanova with their same age peers. Studies show that as many as 85% of students with disabilities can master general education content. And students with disabilities in an inclusive classroom have academic and social gains that they do not receive in a self-contained classroom. All kids benefit from learning and belonging in inclusive classrooms.